return, you give your solemn word to advocate as forcefully as you can the marriage of Belair and Marianne, renouncing all desire to dispossess another of his rightful happiness, and... No! <laughs> we will not hush up this vile affair. Quite heard it all inside that closet there. Where heaven, in order to confound the pride of this great rascal, promised me to hide. My long awaited chance to punish his deceit and arrogance and give my father clear and shocking proof of the black character of his dear heart. Ah, uh, no, Demis. I'll be content if you will study to deserve my leniency. I promised silence. Don't make me break my word. <laughs> to make a scandal would be too absurd. Good wives laugh off such trifles and forget them. Why should they tell their husbands and upset them? You have your reasons for taking such a course. And I have reasons too of equal force. But to spare him now would be insanely wrong. I swallowed my just wrath far too long. And watch that insolent bigot bringing strife and bitterness into our family life. Too long he's meddled in my father's affairs, thwarting my marriage hopes and poor Valerius. It's high time my father was undeceived. But now I have proof that can't be disbelieved. Proof that was furnished me by heaven above. <laughs> it's too good not to take advantage of. Oh, this is my chance, and I deserve to lose it. For one moment, I hesitate to use it. Demi. No! I must do what I think right. Oh, Madam, my heart is bursting with delight. You can say what you will. I will not consent. <laughs> the sweet revenge on which I'm bent. I'll settle matters without more ado. And here most opportunely is my cue, father. I'm glad you've joined us. Let's advise you of some fresh news which doubtless will surprise you. You've just now been repaid with interest for all your loving kindness to our guest. Uh, he's proved his warm and grateful feelings towards you. If with a pair of horns, he will reward you. Yes, I surprised him with your wife and heard his whole adulterous offer. Every word. She, in her all too gentle disposition, would not have told you of his proposition. But I shall not make terms with brazen lechery and feel that not to tell you would be treachery. And I hold that one's husband's peace of mind should not be spoilt by tattle of this kind. One's honor does to require it. To be proficient in keeping men at bay is quite sufficient. These are my sentiments, and I wish, Demis, that you had heeded me and held your